2016 has been a record year for the number of weather related disasters. Hundreds of thousands of people affected. The Red Cross was there through it all, which means resources have been stretched to the limit. President and CEO Gail McGovern has joined us before back today to detail the organization's extraordinary activity and need looking forward. Good morning, Gail. Good morning and thanks so much for having me on your show, Mary. It's nice to see you again. I think just a couple of days ago, Gail, we had a tornado um, in the state of Nebraska this time of year. I mean, I just feel like so much is going on even now. So frame up the last 12 months if you could. What has happened and then how has the Red Cross responded? Well, so much has been happening this past year. Uh, there were 50% more disasters this year than the year before. Everything from tornadoes, floods, wildfires in the West, hurricanes. It's really been extraordinary how many natural disasters just keep happening mm -hmm. back to back. Mm -hmm. So um, it's been a, a trying year. Uh, we had to deploy 24,000 different volunteers uh, just for the major disasters. Wow. So um, they are stretched then. Mm -hmm. And you're talking there about the, the major events, but you don't just respond to those disasters. How do you help local communities? Well, we are in just about every single county in the United States. And on average in a year, we respond to about 66,000 disasters. And most of them are single family home fires that don't make the evening news. Mm -hmm. So we will show up when there's a home fire. We make sure people have food and clothing, a place to stay. We'll give them financial assistance, lots of hugs. Uh, that's about one every eight minutes. And our incredible volunteers just come out in the middle of the night and help people that are in need. So what can our viewers do to help you continue the work you're doing? Well, thank you so much for asking. There are actually three ways people can help. Uh, first of all, they can make a financial donation and every gift, regardless of the size, is deeply appreciated and we will put it to good use. We are not a government agency, so everything we do is because of the generosity of the American people. They can also volunteer their time. Um, and. That's such a precious way to help people in need. Mm -hmm. Or they can donate blood because this is a time of year where there's always a blood shortage, lots of accidents, some of the drives are canceled because of the weather. So those are three ways people can help and they can get information about all three mm -hmm. by going to our website, which is redcross.org or they can call our 800 number, which is 1-800-RED-CROSS. Gail, I think a lot of people understand donating money, they understand donating blood, but maybe the volunteer aspect of this, if you could give us an example of what a typical uh, volunteer might do, what are, what are those needs like for you and your organization? Well, first of all, they can come and volunteer during major disasters. Uh, lots of volunteers do that. They can respond in their local community when there's a home fire and be dispatched when there's a home fire. We also have a major campaign where we are installing smoke alarms around the country in vulnerable communities and they can check in to see if there are ways they can participate in that. Um, we've already installed about half a million free smoke alarms in vulnerable communities and 111 lives have already been saved wow. as a result. Wow. Uh, it's, it's pretty incredible. So there's so many different ways they can teach a class in first aid or CPR. Um, if they have a lot of heart mm -hmm. and they want to help, we can put them to good use. Well, Gail. Thank you so much for being here today and all the best this Christmas. Thank you. You too. Have a wonderful holiday. Thank you. Mike, over to you.